Oftentimes, when we are on a journey of self-actualization, we create these visions and goals of who we want to become. We envision our higher self. We see our higher self without limits, living a life of meaning and purpose and success and health and well-being and having the relationships that we want, the career that we want, X, Y, and Z. And then we start to feel like we need to work so hard in order to become that part of us. Meaning that just in doing that alone, we are inadvertently taking the identity as the broken and flawed version of us and making that higher and free version of us something far out in the distance. Kind of like people do with God, right? God is out there in the sky and it's not in here. My higher self is up there and out there in the future, but it's not right here. But this is what I want to remind us all of is that the higher self is not only right here, it is all of you. Who you actually are is your higher self. And I don't even like to use the word higher self, true self. Your true self is fucking limitless. Your authentic and true self is already whole, worthy, and complete. And we have just through our traumas and experiences of life, through our programming and conditioning, have forgotten who we actually are. So as we start to go on this path of personal development, we start to see things from a false lens. And this false lens and this worldview that we're looking at this journey from is that I am broken, my higher self is over there, and I need to be perfect in my routines, I need to heal all of these traumas, I need to be disciplined, I need to do all this work so I can become that part of me. And that way of going about it, one, it's not fun at all, two, it leads to a lot of shame and self-criticism, thus leading to self-sabotaging, and also, it's completely false. You are orienting your consciousness into the what you judge as what is wrong with you, rather than identifying with the whole of who you are, which is whole, worthy, and complete, which is beautiful, powerful, limitless, and infinite. So what came through on our call last night after the breathwork session is to stop trying to become anything. Stop trying so hard to become this version of yourself because the more that you try to become it, the more that you are affirming that you are not it. It's almost like when you try to remember a dream when you wake up. The more that you try to remember it, the further it goes away. And it's the same thing with this journey. It's like the more that we try to become the bigger, better, stronger version of ourselves, the more that we are affirming that we are not that version of ourselves. But if we can take a deep breath and let go of the chasing, that part of us that we have been spending so hard working to achieve and to reclaim and to become will be revealed inside of us. Many of us are looking for sunglasses that are right on top of our heads, right? We're looking for a part of us. We're looking to become a version of us, which is who we already are. It's very funny. It's a, it's, it's a funny paradox of this journey. Like, yes, there is a devotion and discipline and hard work involved, but if it's coming from the wrong place, right? Discipline, devotion, and hard work, if it's coming from a place of empowerment and embodiment and a deep knowing of who you are, it's going to be inspired, right? The spirit of who you are is going to be inspired into an expression of service and into inspired action. However, if you are identifying with the lacking, unworthy, not good enough part of you and telling yourself that you need to do all these things in order to become that bigger part of you, then you have it all backwards, right? Does this make sense? So letting go of the need to do all these things in order to become who you are trying to become, we can sink in and drop into this deep knowing of who we already are and just be it and allow the doing to flow from that space forgot where I heard this quote, but it goes something along the lines of, don't try to do more to be more. Be more and let the doing flow effortlessly from that space. 
And this is why meditation is so important. This is why just connection and intimacy with self is so important. Letting go of the doing and the striving and the chasing so we can drop into and sink into this deep knowing that we already are everything that we're trying to become. You already are everything that you are trying to become. God created you in its image, whatever you want to call it, God, spirit, source, universal intelligence. You are a creation of the divine. You are a creation of the divine where the divine lives in you, through you, and as you. And when we are trying so hard to be perfect, when we are trying so hard to get it right, then we forget it. We forget who we are. And this is where burnout happens. This is where overwhelm happens. All right, we start to spiral down this loop of self-pity and shame and self-sabotage and start isolating ourselves from the world because we feel like we're not good enough and we think we need to work so hard and we need to do these 30-day challenges and let go of these habits and achieve all these goals and make more money and then I'll be free. But that's the fallacy. That's the lie. It's the when-then fallacy. When I achieve this, when I become that, then I'll be happy. When I have the six-pack, then I'll love myself. When I, when I have more money, then I'll be at peace. But what if it's the other way around? What if you being at peace will bring in the money? What if you being happy will allow you to let go of all of the habits and addictions that are keeping you unhealthy and unfit? Right? The ego says, when everything falls into place, then I'll be at peace. But your inner being knows, once I'm at peace, then everything will fall into place. So give yourself permission to just be. Relax. Call in the higher version of yourself and embody that part of you. Walk through every day knowing that who you actually are is whole, worthy, and complete. Because you always were and you always will be. And it's up to us to remember that every day. And you will forget. And I have learned that the forgetting is just as sacred as the remembering. This is where we get to integrate those shadow aspects of ourselves. So give yourself permission to be at peace. Give yourself permission to let go of the need to read all these self-help books, listen to all these podcasts, take all these courses and obsess over becoming something that you already are. You already are everything that you're trying to become, so be it. The permission needs to come from you. I'm sending so much love to each and every one of you. If you ever need support, I am here. But go be who you came here to be. Much love.